direct current motor. An electric motor converts electrical energy to kinetic energy. Okay, so we give electrical energies to the motors. Okay, the motor will change this electrical energy to uh, kinetic energy and and make the motor rotate. Eh? Now, first of all, let's see the structures. Eh? Okay, there's a rectangular coil of wire placed between two permanent magnets. So in every direct current motor, there is a coil. Okay, there's a coil. Uh, here I show this. Uh, I show that this coil with one wire. Actually, a coil it can be a uh, a lot of windings. Eh? Okay, not just one wire like this. Okay, uh, it can be many, many round, round, many rounds. Eh? Okay, many turns. So uh, there's a coil. Okay, there's a coil in the per in the permanent magnet, and then so this coil is soldered to a copper split ring. So you can see that. There, there's a ring here, but this ring is not connected, eh? so it's a split ring, and we call this commutator. We call this split ringed commutator. So these two pieces of uh, copper is called a split ring commutator, and then uh, there is a carbon brush. Okay, there's uh, this one, eh? the the gray one is 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 a carbon. Okay, so this is a carbon brush that holds the split ring commutators. Uh, it connects this uh, split ring commutators to the circuit. So this carbon brush, uh, this carbon brush, it, it allows the split ring commutators to rotate. It just touch on this split ring commutator, okay? Just touch on it, and uh, this split ring can can slide on the surface of this uh, carbon brush. Uh. It can slide on the surface of carbon brush, and therefore it can uh, rotate. Uh. So that is the very first thing that you need to know about direct current motor. There's a coil, and there is a commutator. And then a hole by uh, two carbon brush, okay, two carbon brush. Eh? So this carbon brush uh, can conduct electricity eh, between the split rings and the circuit, and it can uh, it can hold the split ring commutators and allow it to slide and rotate at uh, these uh, fixed positions. Usually in the exam they will ask you, eh, what's the functions of the split ring commutator? Now the functions of these split ring commutators is to change the directions of the current in the coil and hence change the directions of the couple. Okay, change the directions of the coil and change the directions of the couples. Uh. What does this mean? Uh? What does this mean? Let me show you. Uh, this is a north, okay, and this is a south. And uh, th there is a coil, okay, go in and come out. When the currents move in, uh, it then the the force they produce uh, is like this. Okay, the force produced is like this. Uh, this currents go in. Uh, here the current come out. If this make a rotation, sir, uh, make a rotation. They say this is A, this is B, this is C and D. Uh, okay. So after it make a rotations, then this will become A, this will become B, this will become C, and this will become D. Right. Initially, this is A, B, C, D. After it make a half turns, uh, so the A will come here and B will become uh, here. Okay, B will be here, and then this D will be here and the C will be here. If the current still flow in the same directions from A to B, right? If the current still flow from A to B, yeah. So what will happens? If the current flow from A to B, then it will produce a force upwards and a force downwards here. So can you see that? Initially, yeah, okay. There's a force upward at the left hand side. After it make a half rotation, then there's a force upward at the right hand side. If this happens, uh, then uh, this coil uh, it will not rotate, but it will vibrate. It will uh, go to the right and then come back. Go to the right, come back. Okay, it will oscillate. Yeah, it will oscillate between uh, it, between these two magnet. That is the problem, sir. That's the problem because uh, after it make a half rotation, sir, the current still move from A to B. Yeah? Still move from A to B, and uh, to avoid this, we use the split ring commutators. Uh, because the split ring commutators, uh, it will change the directions of the current. Here, this one you can see that the current move in, right? But with the split ring commutators, the currents will move out. Okay, this one go in, this one go in, and this one. Come out. So if this one come out, then the directions of the force will change. Eh? The directions of the force. Eh? Uh, so here, downwards, and here the force upwards. 
So then uh, it will make the coil rotate continuously, okay, clockwise. Uh, keep on rotating clockwise. So that is the functions of the split ring commutator. It changed it changed the directions of the it changed the directions of the current. Uh, uh, the second functions, uh, the second functions of this uh, split ring commutator is uh, if there is no split ring commutators and when this coil rotate, uh, and then the wire here, the wire here will twist, right? Okay, the wire here will be twisted. Uh. If it's keep on uh, rotate, uh, the wire here will be twisted. So, uh, but if there is a split ring commutator here, uh, the split ring commutator will only slide on the, this is a carbon brush, uh, so it won't twist the wire. So, so it serves two uh, functions. One is to change the directions of the currents uh, inside this field, and second is to prevent the twistings of the wire. That is the functions of the split ring commutator. So the functions of the commutator is to change the directions of the current in the coil and hence change the directions of the couples in every half revolutions. Uh, this is to make sure that the coil can rotate continuously. And uh, sometimes they may ask you what's the functions of the carbon brush. So the functions of the brush is to conduct electricity from the external circuit to the coil and allow the commutators to rotate continuously. So usually this is what will be asked. Eh? Okay, now let's continue. Eh? Let's continue. Direct current motor. Eh? The functions of the commutator is to change the directions of the current and hence change the directions of the force so in every half revolutions or every half turns. And the functions of the brush is to conduct electricity from the external circuits to the coil. Uh, another thing that will, will be asked eh, in your test or exam is uh, what are the factors that affect the speed of the rotations? How to make the motor rotate faster? Yeah, how to make the motor rotate faster? Uh, first, you can do this by increasing the strength of the magnetic field. Means uh, use a stronger magnet. If you use stronger magnet, you can make uh, you can you, you can make the motor rotate faster. Second. Uh, increase the current, use stronger currents or higher currents, eh? then the motor can rotate faster. And uh, C, increase the number of turns in the coil, because uh, this coil can be many turns. Eh? This coil can be many turns. Just now I show you one turn only, right? The coil just one turn only. Eh? But actually you can make a lot of turns. Eh? Okay, one, two, three, four, okay. Uh, you can make a lot of turns. A lot of turns. Eh? And uh, if you have uh, more turns, then you can make it rotate faster. Okay, this one. Uh, this one shouldn't be D, okay? It is another thing, sir. Mm. So another important thing that you need to know is this motor will not operate in an alternating power supply. This is a direct current motor. It can only operate under direct current. So if you connect this to an alternating current, uh, it won't rotate. Okay, because alternating currents, uh, the directions keep on changing. So then the couple will keep on changing directions and uh, finally end up that uh, this coil cannot rotate. Uh. So it must be connected to direct current. Yeah, cannot connect it to uh, alternating current.